What up, you guys? It's Wolf Sage. Welcome to Daydream, where daydream, they drip, and when they drip, they create. It's all a process, you guys. Welcome back to the Black Agenda. Getting into another episode. We're talking about reading, talking about studying. It's <laughs> one of my hardest, <laughs> one of my, the hardest things that I have trouble doing, but I'm going to tell you guys, you know, that you need to read and study more. So I know reading and studying, you're just like, oh, this is just a basic thing. We should all do this. But I'm talking about on different levels, reading and studying on different levels. I'm talking about with books. I'm talking about with reading each other. I'm talking about with reading just life and situations and stuff. You need to study history. You need to study, you know, human behavior. You need to study how life works and how life changes because we're not in a simple world. We're not in a cartoon. Not everything is gonna be like, oh, an episode of Sunday in Philadelphia or The Simpsons or something like that or Family Guy. It's, everything is changing. We're about to get, hopefully soon, we'll be into like a whole different currency and we'll be able to see that in our generation, my generation, I'm not, I was born in 94, so it's like, damn, I get to see a whole currency change and I have to learn that, I have to study these sort of things and reading kind of, it kind of helps you. And and don't get me wrong, I hate reading. I hate it. I hate reading just regular text and everything. I'm one of those, I'm a visual artist like you guys know. So I need art, I need pictures, I need, you know, pizzazz. I need something that's gonna catch my eye. And that's what I think we need to do. We need to look at the things we're studying, the things that we're reading about, and we need to not only have them, see them for the lens they are, because not everything is exciting, but also just see, you know, what are the things we can learn? We need to absorb the knowledge when we read and study and gain stuff. If you looked at the thumbnail on here, you might see, you might have saw the picture, if you guys know from Avatar, the um, the uh, the guy that stayed in the library uh, when the, during Avatar The Last Airbender, when they went to the library and all, you know, sunk the whole place. It's like, yeah, we, we stay in here, you guys misused my research, my knowledge, and that library that if you guys watch Avatar Last Night Been then you'll know what I'm talking about. When this episode about the secret desert library, um, there, it, they had so much vast knowledge. There was so much knowledge, so much information. They even had like a whole uh, calendar where you could see when the solstice was. It, it played a big part into the um, story. But having all that knowledge stuck in there and on that thumbnail, you'll see that guy in there, he decided to stay there for the rest of his life just to be able to read. He didn't matter if he had food or whatnot, he just wanted to be able to absorb all the knowledge and gain all the thoughts that the world kind of loses and everything. We lose that, that's how we, that's how mistakes are made in the future is because we don't know the past. But by reading and by learning, shit, just if you think about comic books, these comic books that, um, these comic movies that we're all so hammered by and we love and we're like, oh, I love this, I love that, I want this, Thor, Iron Man and all that stuff. They came from books, they came from stories, they came from real life or either, you know, made up situations that have real life situations, like things that relate to it. <laughs> We learn so much when it comes to this stuff that it like helps us grow. It helps us uh, learn and learn and gain things that we thought weren't possible, you know? So as far as like working, I just want us to have that mind state, uh, uh, mind state of studying. I mean, <laughs> that's a different video. The mind state of studying and reading because I don't want there to be any knowledge that we don't know. If you don't know how to invest, if you don't know how to work this, if you don't know how to work that, if you don't know how to work with a computer, if you don't know how to, you know, cut your hair, it's all, right now, especially, it's all at a click of a button. All you gotta do is go online, all you gotta do is go on to YouTube, click how do I cut hair, how do I cut this or that or style, and everything is accessible. Knowledge is accessible now. We don't have to do the old, I hate it too, going to the library and going through books and sections and this and that. No, now we can actually have a source that's endless. And that could be something. So I just want I just want us to have that mind state. I want us to I want us to have that mind state. And I also want us to come to a point where studying and working together is something that's just you know, it's known. It's just, it's just a, a second thought to us. You know, our kids are gonna be working even harder. They're gonna be putting in the work, putting in the, the study to be able to um, learn all these different things and be able to 
you know, gain all this knowledge. They're not gonna, they're gonna see our mistakes and what we've written through Twitter and they're gonna know, hey, let's, let's not do that. Let's not put ourselves out there. Let's not, you know, talk about this or talk about that if we don't know what we're talking about. It's all about knowledge, you guys. That's what reading and studying is. Us as black people, we are vastly knowledgeable. Shit, a lot of people could say that we built the world. We, we really did in a lot of ways. We built from the beginning of times to now, we've shaped things through our stories, through our, through, through the people that, you know, whether they were able to tell their stories or not, their impact, what they left here, they, we can read into that, we can study them, we can study their actions, their movements. If you wanna know just about just getting money and everything, studying, looking at, you, you don't look at the broke person in your hood. You look at the dope dealer, you look at the rich person, you look at the person with the bins, the car, you look at the person that has what you want. If I don't have what you want, why would you listen to me? Unless I'm pointing you in the right direction and saying, hey, go over there, that's where you need to get what you want. But other than that, if I wasn't doing that, if I wasn't gaining any, giving you any knowledge, there's nothing for you to read, there's nothing for you to study. So I, I just want us to get to that, to get to a point where we have that mind state to be able to, to figure out what it is that is important and what it is that we need to absorb. That's what I want to say when it comes to reading and study. We need to really do that. So um, yeah, you guys, it's just you know this black agenda. It's a, uh, it's it's. It's a big thing. I'm just trying to give you guys something. I want to give you guys something to talk about, something to you know think about, some possibilities that we could be able to put this together and say, hey, this is what we need to be able to get our you know our system back together, make a community for us, make a system where all of us can feel like we can be able to survive in this world, or at least know that we have some help and stuff. So when we go to these governments, we go to these politics. I want us to actually have something. So, you know, please like look into it. Look into what I got. Um, build upon it. Share it. Let's let's talk about more of these topics. I've talked about family and home. I've talked about community. I've talked about the school system and how we need more act, act, after school activities. You know, click on the playlist. Click on the links. You know, it's I'm only here to help you guys. I'm only here to help us. You know, this is this the, this is what I can give to us. This is what I can offer, and I want to do as much as I can. So, you know, um, thank you guys. You know, love you guys. Please comment, like, subscribe, do all that stuff. You know, it's Wolf Sage. Welcome to Daydream. We're Daydream, Day Trip, and they trip, they create. It's all a process. This is a process. Your life is a process, and you're gonna get there, you guys. Don't worry about it. Just we gonna we we gonna we gonna make it. We gonna make it. So. Y'all have y'all have a good night. Y'all have a good night. <laughs> what up, you guys? It's Wolf Sage. Welcome to Daydream, where they dream, they drip, when they drip, they create. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you're interested in the Black Agenda and seeing this document in full to its every detail, not every detail, but I will be explaining everything within these videos and kind of breaking it down so it can be more of an interactive experience. But if you do want to read it, link in description. Go to www.daydream.com. That's www.deydrm.com. Daydream.com. Click, download the free PDF. Be a part of the conversation. Help me build this PDF. Help me build this document. And we will grow a better community. Okay, you guys? So please like, subscribe, comment. Do all those things. Click that bell. And let's get back to the video.